Hi, I'm Paul from Cmetrics, and today we'll be changing the battery in an AG3000 or an AG90 meter. Notice that the housing of the base model units look the same, and changing the battery will be a similar process in both meters. Don't forget that Cmetrics offers one free battery replacement with your warranty registration, and your registration can be done at Cmetrics.com. If your meter is sealed, and the seal is controlled by a regulating agency, be sure of their rules before removing the seal. All settings will be retained if the meter loses power. The total is recorded to permanent memory every 15 minutes and will be retained if the meter does lose power. Now the first thing we're going to need to do is to open the housing. After being out in the field for a few years, this housing might be just a little bit tight, hard to get open. You're going to want to either use a spanner wrench, pipe wrench, channel lock, something like that. If it's stuck, it's just barely stuck. If you can get maybe a quarter inch motion on this, it'll open right up. So once a lid is off, we'll need to remove the display assembly. This will either be held in with T15 Torx head screws or it'll simply be snapped in. This one's snapped in place. So just pops right out. If it's held in with the T15 Torx head screws, they will be right in here, here, and here, unscrew them, and the uh, display just lifts right out. Once the display is out, you'll find a Velcro strap holding the battery in place. Uh, if the tails are tucked right down next to the battery, you might need some kind of a tool, uh, a needle nose, maybe a screwdriver to lift that up with. Undo the strap. Pull out the battery, unplug the battery, and in your battery replacement kit, there will be a new battery. Uh, put the uh, battery in the uh, in the battery ho uh, holder. Put the strap back on so that that battery doesn't flop around in there. Now on the uh, battery connector there will be a little rib stands up right here there's a little slot in the receptacle right down in here that rib goes into that slot once that's plugged in meter will start up by itself make sure that there's no wires in place of the in the way of, of any of the connectors or in the way of the threads there's desiccant packs down inside the housing. Pull those out. In your battery replacement kit, there will be a bag of desiccants. Put those down inside the housing. Making sure, oop, look, that one's a little too high. That could get stuck in the threads. So we'll shove that down inside there. The display snaps right back down on these standoffs. Again, if you have the T15 Torx head screws, T15 Torx head screwdriver, and you just screw those uh, screws right back in there. Inspect the O-ring on the lid. Make sure that it's not too dirty. Make sure it's not cracked. There is a o-ring in your battery replacement kit if it is damaged or dirty replace that make sure it's clean on the o-ring sealing surface inside the housing clean that surface if that meter's been out in the field you can bet it's going to be covered with a bunch of dirt and sand clean that up so it'll seal well you get too much dirt in there and it's uh, not going to seal well on the o-ring Screw the lid all the way down. If you don't screw it all the way down, you're going to get moisture or dirt in there over time, and it will destroy the meter. Uh, once the O-ring touches, just give it a little tighten to compress the O-ring, give it a good sealing surface. And uh, then in your battery replacement kit, there is a security seal. If your meter needs a security seal, connect the seal. And you're done. 
So that's all there is to changing the battery in one of our meters. If you want any more information on this or other products, please visit us at symmetrics.com. Thanks for watching.